Hello YouTube, Kimbato Gaming here, back in Mad Games Tycoon. Now, you guys seem to really like the quick look on this game, and I decided let's go ahead and continue a little more of this. Now, what I'm going to do here, I had to restart the game. I, when I did my quick look, I rushed through a lot of things, and I invested a lot of unnecessary money, and I basically set the company up to fail real quick. So I decided let's go again set, let's go ahead and restart if we're going to do this kind of like a fresh gameplay series. So I've already renamed the company, it's basically named the same thing, but I'm going to move at a little bit different pace and be a little more methodical about how I approach this. Alright, we're immediately going to start here with building a development office, so let's go ahead and get this placed here. Now, I went a little crazy last time when I was building stuff, I, uh, I went in there and I just... I really invested a lot in the different things that, as soon as they unlocked. And that was good for showing you guys kind of how the game worked. I'm not really liking this office. Trying to figure out where I want to put this. I need room for about three desks here. I think they take up two a piece. So something like that should be okay. I'll have room to expand a little bit. So let's do that. Put the door here. So I've got that set up. Let's go ahead and buy some desks here. Now, I've been advised to kind of take it a little slow to begin with. Don't, you know, rush into things. Don't. Go out there and think you need to every time a department opens up that you need to go in there and buy it and immediately place a room in there so i'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that i'm going to actually take this a little slower so let's do this uh let's see what else do we need to invest in uh, it seems like they do need like a toilet room so let's go ahead and build some more rooms here let's put a toilet in there there we go everybody's happy guess we need a, a little bit of a sink so let's put that over here, kind of out of view. There we go. All right, we've got that set up and we are ready to move on to the next phase. All right, I'm just gonna place a couple various things here in the office, kind of make it a little homey here. So get a couple plants in there. Uh, let's see, that looks good. All right, I think we're ready to go here. And actually not, let's put a heater in the office. Seems like there's certain things that you just need to stick inside these to make people work a little bit more efficiently. So we've got these. I think we're ready to go ahead and go into the development phase. So let's go and hire some employees. See what they're good at. I need somebody... Hmm. These people don't particularly tickle my fancy here. Uh, let's go ahead and hire a couple here. We'll pick this guy. Go ahead and get to your office. And let's see. we got programmers. Somebody with graphics. So we got a programmer. I'm more like a game designer. So let's get somebody for graphics here. Uh, how about you, buddy? Let's hire you. Okay, that should be it. Let's go ahead and exit that. Yes, I've got employees in a room. Let's do that. I'm gonna set it this desk. Should be good to go here. Everybody's got a desk, everybody's got a bathroom. We're fairly happy. Now, I started making mistakes last time when I started building all these rooms and just started throwing money around. So we cannot really do that right now. Let's see what's kind of popular. Uh, puzzle and predators. Skill and space are not popular, so let's keep that in mind. See what we have to work with, topics wise, assassins, cars, and espionage. Well, we don't have much to work with here, so obviously we need to kind of see what our subtopic. So we're gonna have to do something. You now it's gonna have to be like an assassin and espionage game, obviously. Genre, skill, puzzle, arcade. Well, I'm thinking the only thing this is gonna really work with is arcade, so let's do that. Uh, we're getting kind of in the uh, trend that we were in last time. I'm going to try to avoid that and try to research as much as possible. Now, one thing I'm not very good at is naming games, so we've got Assassin's Creed. Uh, let's see. Engine. We don't, we're not going to do this with an engine. Target audience. This is pretty early, so let's just keep it at all ages real quick. Do that. Platform. PC. Can't buy another dev kit right now, so let's go ahead and go forward there. Let's see, how do we want this game to be? Alright, so this is very early on in gaming, so I'm thinking something beginner friendly. Uh, gameplay or graphics, huh? Let's go a little more on the graphics side. Game lengths, make it a long one. Uh, functions or atmosphere. Let's go ahead and try to make up some of the lack of the. Uh, well, I, know, I guess we need to keep the gameplay. Let's keep it a little more neutral. Atmosphere, let's stick it on that side. It is a Assassin's Creed game. Of course, they're not really known for their gameplay. Uh, let's see. Beginner. Yeah, everything else feels pretty good here. I think this will work, so... Let's go a little more to casual since it's beginner-friendly. 
Go over here. Okay, graphics. This is where I want to see how do I want to do this? I think we're going to keep it neutral for the first game. And maybe that will work. And then maybe I need to support other languages. You know, let's go ahead and do a little investment there. So see if we can make this more of an international game. There we go. Uh, can't do anything with the engine. So let's go ahead and skip that. And we should be good to go here. So they're going to go ahead and start making that game. Let's go ahead and fast forward time. Get through this development cycle. Now I'm a little more confident this time. Uh, one thing I had last time, I didn't have a stacked design or development team like this. I think everybody basically had the same skill and there was only two of us. So I think stacking three of us, we can get these games out quicker and try to make as much money as possible. So uh, this game's actually almost through already. So let's go ahead and skip to the end of this and then we'll see how this turns out. All right, Assassin's Creed has completed development. <laughs> I'm terrible at names. Uh, let's go ahead and publish right now. Let's find a publisher. Hmm, how do we want to choose these? Uh, here, I think I was pretty on point with how I was going to do a, a publisher. I just think we need to have one that is strong in our certain fan base. So let's go with market strength. Who's the highest for ours? Okay, Arcade. So it's Nanco. So we're going to go with them. And we're ready to release this game, see what happens here. I know other games in this genre, so that's always good to see. So let's go ahead and release. First game is completed. Now we have room for a research area, which I need to figure out. Can I stick those in the same? I might need to have one of those to continue making better. And oh my, that gameplay, that... I don't even know if I had one that high in the uh, quick look. A 77. How could I not accomplish that last time? All right, that's going to be hopefully a really good game. Now, I don't know if it gives you like a... Uh, Almost like a mulligan each time you do your first game, because I remember my last first game was pretty high, so... Yeah. Great reviews. Let's see what we do here. Sales-wise, it should be strong. Now, one thing I'm going to need, uh, real quick, I do need a research department. I uh, need to try to make it as small as possible. Alright. Let's see, that should be it right now. And we should be good to go. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need. Nope, don't need anything else there. Let's go ahead and hire us a person that can do some research. Let's go ahead and go up in the office work. Let's see who's good at that. Hire this person and place them in. There we go. All right, we've got a researcher now. So everything's going pretty good. Let's see the sales. I'm really curious what's going to happen here. Oh, and it instantly made a profit. That's crazy. All right, we need to ride this wave of momentum here, so you need to go ahead and start searching up topics. Uh, ooh, question is, what type of topics do I want? Hmm. I need to do something a little bit different. I've got arcade games. Uh, it seems like it's going to be the main thing you need to do towards the 80s, so what kind of arcade games that were really fun? Anything related to space? Spaceships or space. What's the difference? Space stations. I think that would be like a simulation game. Space could go either way. Spaceships. Let's go ahead and research spaceships. Get him working down there and let's go ahead and start developing another game. So let's see. Topic. I don't know. I guess espionage and cars do go together. A lot of you are probably not familiar with Spy Hunter used to be a game. It was an arcade game. So maybe that's what we should create here. I kind of forgot about that game. I'm trying to think that was uh, by Midway, I believe. Uh, of course, they are out of business now. But, yeah, let's go with that. Target audience. Let's keep it all. I think we last time we kind of did too many adult games, and it's 80s. I'm not sure how well received that would be, so let's do that. That looks good. Everything looks good there. So let's get this move in. Platform. I got to stay with the PC. So let's go ahead and move this out the door. Hmm, graphics. Let's go ahead and bump them. Let's bump them graphics up. Game length. Uh, I would say in a game like Spy Hunter, you want it a little longer. Atmosphere. Let's keep that up. And let's keep it friendly. Let's keep it casual. We want people to be able to play this game and not be turned off by it. So let's do that. Uh, languages. Let's go ahead and select some more. I know it's going to cost a little bit, but I want to see what kind of impact it actually has. So let's do that. Uh, let's go a little more into the gameplay side. And let's go ahead and release this and see what happens here. 
All right, Spy Hunter has completed development, so we're good to go here on Spy Hunter. Let's, uh, you know, it didn't really do much better as far as the way the gameplay was, graphics, sound. Uh, it's still fairly positive, I would think. Uh, let's see, let's find another... You know, I could... Could I go right back to Nanco here? Nanco seemed like it was pretty strong. So let's go back with them, and let's sell here. Ooh, there's one other game in the genre, and that actually might be my game. I guess it's gonna count that as arcade. Yeah, it's probably mine, so... Alright, let's go ahead and release this real quick. And see what happens here. It's still getting pretty high ratings. Actually, it actually beat it. Wow, close to 80. Okay, we need to keep this momentum up. I think they need to go ahead and do some contract work while we're waiting on the research department. A uh, contract work could be for anybody, just make some money real quick. Uh, it's not gonna be much, but let's see, which one looks like it's doable? 104 work points and 19 weeks. Uh, that one's 100, that's 10 weeks. Uh, let's go ahead and do the one with 19 weeks. It pays a little better, so let's go ahead and put them to work. So they're gonna be doing that, and that's actually moving really fast. There we go. And now we can buy licenses. Licenses would be like movie games or sports titles. Say you buy like something for the NFL. Of course, it doesn't actually say that in the game, but uh, those are available. But I don't think I have anything that I would really want to do that with yet. So I think we're gonna just keep pushing games out the door here. Uh, I had too much downtime last time, so topics. Hmm, which topic have we not start like gone to? Would it be too soon to do a sequel to Assassin's Creed? I mean, they did it every year, but oh, ours would really be in like a couple months. Uh, I feel like we can't do that right now, so we're gonna need to mix those topics one more time. But assassins in cars makes sense, not particularly, but that seems like the only combination that we haven't done. Uh, so let's do assassins and cars. So let's do that. Do I want to switch this up? See, arcade games, actually, you know what? Seems like s puzzle games are hot right now, but realistically, what type of puzzle game is going to involve cars and ninjas, or, or not ninjas, assassins? So naming this is going to be very terrible for me. So it's going to be... I, I'm going to wind up naming these like the topics each time, so it's going to be assassin cars. That doesn't even really make sense. And I'm having some problems typing too. Uh, I've moved my keyboard over. I have a different mic position right now. Uh, it's a little odd for me, but I was trying to figure out a way to record this and I have a, one of these new mechanical keyboards and I really don't want to pick it up too much, but it seems like that might be an issue later on. Let's see, dev kits. See, the Atari 2600 dev kit's pretty high. And I don't know if that's worth the payoff. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it for now. We'll have the we'll develop for it, and then we'll develop for the personal computer. So that's a pretty big market share. That's like a uh, let's see the computer. I don't know where it went. Uh, the market share. I'm probably got like 40 to 50 percent of the market covered. So let's go ahead and do that. It's a little expensive here. Hmm. All right. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and develop this game. So that's gonna be three games out the door real quick, and I didn't do this last time. I had like one game, it'd go off the market, and then I'd have another game ready to go, and I just wasn't able to continue that cash flow. And like instantly now, I already have a ton more fans. Assassin's Cars, that doesn't even make one bit of sense, but it is ready to be published. So let's go ahead and publish it here. Let's find a publisher. We might stick with Nanco. Uh, it seems like the way to go right now, even though, hmm. Yeah, you know, let's stick with them because their market strength is the only one that's two stars out of three. So let's do that. Release it. One game in the same genre. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And oh, this one isn't going to be as strong, but we broke 50%. And normally when you break 50%, that's going to be okay. Uh, the graphics, sounds, and the genre is in trend. So that's really pretty good. I, I feel like we're going to get a push of sales because of that. So got that going. All right, we've got games on the market here instantly so let's go ahead do some more contract work just kind of keep them busy you got to keep this pace going here so let's see let's take a fairly easy contract all right i'm gonna have him research one more topic here that's gonna go along with this so i'm gonna do space spaceships we'll have an arcade game so something like defender asteroids i feel like those topics are gonna mesh together really good 
But I need to keep our development team busy, so we're going to continue some contract work here. And which one? 17 weeks, that's a big one there. So let's go ahead and have them do this. They're going to design a level. They're all going to get in get to work here. Uh, they seem to be yawning a lot. And then uh, we're going to extend their room eventually and get another, probably one more person on this project. That way we can just continue this rapid growth. And we're probably going to wind up doing the same thing with the research. I feel a little bit more confident this time doing it. So that's always good. Nope, there's more contract work already done. You guys are way too quick. So, heck, let's get him on another one. Keep that cash flow coming. So let's do that. Uh, we're going to wait for him to develop space down here. So I'm going to finish these contracts out. Let him do this topic down here. And we should be able to bust out and get another game flow in here. All right, Assassin's Creed has been pulled from the market. It made $185,000, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's working really good right now. Now, I did notice a problem up here. Space is not a very popular genre, even though he's researching that. I really should have caught that to begin with. And it's kind of weird for space not to be a popular genre in the 80s, but I guess I understand where it's coming from. I'm going to go ahead and let him finish it out. He's almost done. He's got 29 more percent to go, and then we'll get him researching on something else. I think I've finished all the contract work that I could do. Uh, not unless I have some game development work that I can tackle. And actually, there is something up here that I could tackle. Uh, we can make a warped game. You know, we're really good at arcade. I feel like we could try this. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna. I haven't done this before. Seems like we have to make a game, so let's see. It's a game called Warped. Uh, let's keep it all ages. Topic, obviously, it's a game called Warped, so spaceships. Makes sense. Subtopic, hmm. Cars? Espionage? I don't really understand what they're wanting here. Do I want to call it cars? Maybe we'll keep it in the cars category. Let's do that, arcade. Uh, without an engine, I guess that's the way we have to do it. I guess I could go buy an engine, but it didn't say I needed one, so... Let's go ahead and hit that. Ah, uh, looks like we're good there. Let's go ahead and get to this point. Keep the atmosphere up. Gameplay, graphics, beginner friendly, keep it where it needs to be right now for the day and age. And let's see, I think we're ready to go here. Uh, languages, let's go ahead and let's bump, let's support them all. And let's go ahead and make this a little more of a neutral game and see what happens here. So you guys go ahead and start developing there. And we'll see what happens. I've never done this before. This could be a disaster or this may be awesome, I don't know. Oh, you know what? This is the first time I can actually participate in this. Do I want to invest 100000 just get some fans? Sure, let's do this just this time and see what happens. And we can, uh... Oh, actually, no, we can take our game. Oh, we can only take one game, can't we? Hmm. I guess... Let's keep it on Assassin's Cars, since that's technically our game. I don't want to promote their game, because I don't know how much of a share I'm going to get after. So let's go ahead and promote our own game. See how many people visit our booth here. That's not bad. Uh, 497 fans gained, so that's good. There we go. 767 fans. All right. Warped has been released. It reviewed really good. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. Of course, this isn't our own game. We've This is a game development project, so maybe we just get paid the salary, or maybe we get a share. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Salary, development cost... Uh, we made twenty. We made two hundred sixty-eight thousand dollars, which is good. So there it goes. Got that in our bank, and we've we're banking right now. Absolutely banking. So this is good. This is very good. This is a really strong start. So I'm really confident about this. I don't want to get ahead of myself though. So I think now is the time to move this office. Let's go ahead and bulldoze this. Okay. One thing that we have, we have one of the most terrible offices ever like it's just not big enough but i need room for this development so we're gonna build him this uh we're gonna get a head desk here that's gonna be kind of my desk and then we're gonna build try to build four other desks in here so let's see let's go ahead and place this one over here which i don't know why it won't set there it'll set in some goofy position like that but okay whatever there we go got that okay we've got a decent setup here it's probably not the most it doesn't make the most sense. Uh, eventually, I can move these desks around once again if we hire another employee. 
Let's go ahead and put the stuff that we need to have in here. It seems like they like heating. Let's put a heater in here, some plants. I don't know what it is about all this office equipment and just plants and stuff that, that they like, but it's just something that is fairly important from what I've read. So I uh, definitely have to stick all this fun junk in here. Just put one down here in the office. Or just kind of place it wherever I want to here. Let me get one of those there. Uh, we're actually not spending too much money, which is good. Let's get a water cooler. There we go. This office is feeling great. So let's do that. Let's add another two desk in here. So be one here and you can set over here. Everybody should be set up and we should be ready to develop some more games here. Uh, let's go and get them researching a genre. Uh, RPG, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, they should be working fairly fast on that. And we are ready to develop a game. Now, space isn't really popular, but if you mix space with spaceships, maybe this won't hurt us too bad. I'm thinking a game like, uh, d how about Defender? It's like an old Midway game. I love that game. Of course, that wasn't really my thing when I was young, but it was, it's still a game I can go back and play. I think it was made in the early 80s, I believe. So it's obviously an arcade game. I'm hoping that th it not being where it needs to be as far as the popularity doesn't hurt us too bad. And you know what, we're gonna go ahead and make this one without a license again and see what kind of result we get. And oh, market share is pretty good on both of these. So we're gonna keep both of these. These are like, I think it's over 50%, like 53, I believe. Okay, atmosphere is all the way up, graphics, game length, Let's put them on complete opposite ends. Uh, let's go ahead and buy some copy protection. Uh, keep from people from pirating, even though I don't know if that was a, really a big thing back then, but still feel like we need it. So we've got that. All right. Boom. Let's go ahead and select some languages. Just kind of doing a random mix right now. I don't know how significant this is. You know, let's go ahead and do them all. And just go ahead and go all out on this game. I know we're going to get hurt a little bit with the not having the or having the space topic, so uh, let's see what happens here. There we go. It's a pretty big investment. We've spent some money now, but I feel comfortable spending this money. Assassin's Creed's about to get off the market, so we need a game constantly there, so Defender's good to go. Uh, everything's... It's fairly decent. It's not as high as I wanted everything to be, but we'll see how it reviews. Uh, we're going to stick with the same publisher. Honestly, with the arcade game and with their market strength, it seems like the way to go. So, let's do that. There's three games in the same genre. Oh, no. That might hurt us. Of course, that might be why it's unpopular at the moment. All right, let's see the reviews. Over 60. Can we hit that 70 mark? 70 mark. That's good. 70 is actually really good. So, let's see what this game does. I, I want to at least... Make my money back, maybe plus 50, plus 100,000 would be nice. Of course, we have a lot more employees now. We have two more, so that's probably an extra 8,000, six or 8,000 a month that we have to make up. So we've got that going. Let's get some contract work. Got to keep them busy. Oh, oh there's nothing. Hmm. What about game development contract? Uh, let's see. We might as well do... This one might be pretty easy down here. It's for the personal PC. Let's go ahead and get this going. It's like a puzzle game. That can help level us up a little bit. Uh, puzzle game. What was it even called? No, let's just make it a spaceship puzzle game. Uh, a, I guess around assassins. I don't know. Uh, let's do that. No, I'm kind of chunking this one out here, but it's just all about keeping them busy here. So let's do that. Personal computers. What I need to release it on. So that's good there. Uh, it needs to be a little more on the gameplay side, so keep it there. Functions, I think it's a puzzle game, gotta keep it in that area. And we'll back off a little bit from the beginner friendly and casual, so... Let's do that. Let's go ahead and develop those languages. Uh, it seems like that helps with the overall review, it's keeping all the languages in mind. I'm not gonna always do that, at least I don't think I am. But let's see, graphics don't need to really be a priority. It's a puzzle game, so gameplay needs to be where it's at. All right, that's good. Game development completed. What are the reviews like? That's all I want to worry about here. Reviews. Oh, we got hit a little bit there. It was a little sloppy, but over 60%. I'll take it. We'll get paid here and everything should be hunky-dory, so... 
$198,000. I kind of wish we got a share of the sales, maybe like a 1% or 2%. It kind of makes sense. But I guess we agreed upon a salary, so that's not bad. There we go. Make that money. Our defender is on sale right now. It's already at $89,000 profit, so uh, we're definitely good. We might even break a million here. Uh, I think I very well will do that with defender. There it goes. Ah, we now have enough money to produce our own games. All right, this is moving way too fast right now, so I'm going to need to sit down, chill out. Obviously, we have some research going on here. Uh, we've got plenty of staff. We're going to start working on some more games. If you guys have any suggestions for games you'd like to see, or even names, I'm not good at naming stuff. If you guys have any names that you want to see, maybe we can make this uh, where I can interact with you guys a little bit more on this, this little series that we're doing here. But anyways, if you want to see more of this series, just hit that thumbs up button, comment below, let me know if this is something you want to continue seeing because I'm certainly enjoying this now that I have a little bit better understanding of what the game is and how to work it. But anyways guys, we'll be playing some more Scrap Mechanic tomorrow. Hope you have a good day and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.